What's up guys, so this week we watched the movie Equilibrium. Equilibrium came out in 2002 and stars Christian Bale, Sean Bean, Tay Diggs, Emily Watson, and William Fitchner pops up in there. But there's one main character in this movie and that is Christian Bale. This is like two years after American Psycho, three years before Batman Begins, and like a year before The Machinist. So sci-fi Christian Bale, old school Christian Bale, not so well known Christian Bale if you will. So this is a sci-fi movie through and through. It starts off in like the early 21st century, World War III happened, a um, lot of people died, and they're trying to figure out ways to stop people from dying, stop killing each other. And when I say they, I mean the government. They come up with an idea to take this drug that represses feelings, represses emotion. And that's pretty much what this whole movie is about. The government is in control of everything. So think 1984 meets Fahrenheit 451. Now when I say Fahrenheit 451, I'm actually saying that because there's a scene at the very beginning of the movie, Christian Bale busts in and takes down these guys. And you kind of don't know what's really going on. And he finds these paintings, like he finds the Mona Lisa painting. A guy comes in, he says, it's authentic, sir. And he kind of looks at it and he just says, dead face, burn it. And they burn this whole pile of paintings. And it's like without any remorse, he just destroys these things. And this is pretty much what his job is day to day. He goes out, he finds these rebels, and he kills every one of them, and then he destroys everything that they tried to save. Anything that could be inspiring, like Beethoven's music, anything that makes you feel has to be destroyed. And Christian Bale is like the top guy that goes and does this. His partner is uh, Sean Bean. If you know anything about Sean Bean, you know he never makes it very far in the movies. Uh, and this movie is no different. He pretty much dies in the first 15 minutes, so I'm not really spoiling anything for you, but decides to get off his meds and start feeling, start having emotion. He's reading a book when Christian Bale comes and kills him. With him killing his partner, he's known for a very long time, probably his friend, and he does it straight face, stone face, no feelings, no nothing, just doesn't even care. You're like, holy shit, this guy is like crazy, but... When you don't have the feelings, it doesn't matter. So after that, he goes home and goes to sleep, like nothing happens. So he wakes up the next morning and he goes to take his daily drugs, uh, like I think he you take them three times a day, and he accidentally breaks it. And his son kind of walks in, and the son's kind of just like him, like, hey, what are you doing? You need to replace that. It's eerie to see how that kid is. He's very much like Christian Bale, except just a tinier version of him, obviously just a kid. Christian Bale, for some reason, decides he doesn't take the drug. He's not going to take it. He's just kind of going to let it go. And that one vial that breaks leads to a whole chain of events of him um, having emotion and stuff, um, him feeling things. There's just a scene where he like looks out into the rain and sees a rainbow and stuff and he just realizes how beautiful it is and he feels something and he kind of freaks out a little bit and he runs to go take his stuff and he realizes, no, I like this feeling, I'm gonna keep it going. And that's pretty much what the rest of the movie, he like is off his meds, like he has to live in a community where these people have no feelings and no emotions and he has to hide it. He has to hide it from his own children his new work partner is Tay Diggs and a community of people that are just like that. And he's constantly like evading having to do his job. He's not the same person and his partner kind of realizes and people are kind of starting to notice, but he plays it off really well. Certain scenes that stuck out to me were their crazy retarded shooting scenes because they call it a gun kata. Supposedly this gun kata uh, makes you 160% more accurate and it makes you even harder to hit. Now when you see it, you're gonna think it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen. And I'm going to agree with you, but as corny and as dumb as some things are in this movie, I couldn't stop watching it again. I still like the premise of it. I like the idea of it. I just want to see what was going to happen. What was going to happen to Christian Bale's character? What was his kids going to say about when they found out? What was his partner going to finally catch him? And you were just kind of like watching to see things that, was, that were going to happen. There was a scene at the very end that really bugged me, though, that I couldn't stand. The big boss fight scene, if you will. Like, all video games is a big boss fight scene. Just the same as movies. Big boss fight scene. And it was kind of anticlimactic. You're watching it, and they're fighting each other, but it looks so choreographed, it really just took me out of the movie. It was a little too much. I was like, okay, they, they kicked each other's ass. Who cares? That was a pretty dumb fight scene to tell you the truth. So if you like sci-fi, action, drama, check this movie out. I'm not saying you're gonna like it. I can't exactly recommend this movie to people, but like I said, it was corny, but I couldn't stop watching it. I just wanted to see what was gonna happen next. I wanted to see where these characters were gonna go. Really glad we picked it this week. Um, I've been meaning to watch it again. I can't wait to see what we do next week, and I'll talk to you later, Movie Club. But on a side note, I hit over 100 subscribers. I'm at 102 now, so thank you guys. Uh, apparently my opinion does mean something to you, but don't be afraid to leave comments down below. I love talking about movies. If you have some interesting thing to tell me, just let me know. A uh, little tad bit of trivia about stuff. I love hearing it. I just was reading a second ago that William Fitchner, the guy I mentioned who's in Equilibrium, is going to be the new Shredder in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So there's just little things like that I like finding out, and it makes it really interesting. So I just want to say thanks again. I appreciate you guys. You guys are great. I'll try to make as many reviews as I can and try to put out as many videos as I can to keep you guys entertained. Um, 
And with that, I really have nothing else, but uh, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.